Hello everyone and welcome to my Pi Ohio 2021 Thunder Talk uh, I Heart Dataset or uh, I guess I love Dataset depending how you want to read it. Um, my name is Ray Volker. I am with the uh, Cincinnati and Hamilton County Public Library and uh, as you would have guessed from the title of uh, this talk, I, I love Dataset quite a bit. So uh, yeah, I just kind of wanted to share with everyone um, just kind of, you know, this, this really great piece of software. Um, and, and basically in my, uh, my use of it uh, with, the, with the library uh, to basically expose some, some data uh, around our collection. So uh, yeah, let's get started here. Um, so let's just answer the question, what is Dataset? Um, so Dataset is uh, created by Simon Willison uh, is a amazing developer, um, but he also um, kind of took this interest in uh, basically exploring and publishing data. Uh, so it's aimed basically at, um, I guess, people who are sort of in the, uh, the glam industry, the uh, galleries, libraries, <laughs> uh, sort of the world, um, or just anyone who has data. So, I mean, everyone, I think these days kind of just has access to a lot of data, um, you know, maybe good or bad. So, um, but you know, it, this kind of just has a. Uh, this is just an interface to uh, to explore uh, data and data sets. So, um, I'm, you know, just going to basically kind of share with you my uh, my implementation or my use of it. But uh, Simon has quite a few presentations available. Uh, available on YouTube and, and just kind of other sort of places. He's been the keynote speaker, um, uh, I think, for um, CSV Conf, which just uh, just happened earlier this year. Uh, and these are really worth uh, checking out because Simon can really do a, a great job at explaining uh, what it is that what uh, what data set is. Things that I love about data sets, uh, quite a few. Uh, but here's just a quick summary. Uh, it's written in Python, available. Uh, you can install it through pip. Uh, it's easy and intuitive to use, uh, well-documented. Uh, documentation is great for this uh, software. Um, the other really great thing is the, uh, the growing plugin library. So you can do lots of really cool stuff with it. Um, you know, show uh, I'll show a couple really quick examples in my in my demo, um, and it also has a built-in API, and the API uses SQL, so you can just feed SQL directly to the API. Uh, now you may be kind of wondering, like, yeah, well, it sounds really unsafe, but it's uh, the other great thing about this is that it's um, it's using SQL Lite in in read-only mode, so. Uh, you know, you couldn't send it any, you know, you couldn't update or change the database in any way. And, and then uh, the other thing, it's all, it's all open source. Uh, like I said, Simon is really amazing and supportive. Uh, and he hosts uh, open office hours, basically for anyone who uh, uses Dataset or wants to use Dataset to talk about the product or, the, or talk about the, the software further. Um, it's really great. So, and then the other one is uh, flexible deployment. Uh, Simon had uh, this sort of scale to zero, uh, you know, just really inexpensive hosting options in mind, I think, when he created those. Uh, so with that being said, yeah, we'll just look at real quick uh, my implementation of it here, or the implementation that I'm sort of talking about here. Uh, it's called collection analysis. Uh, and, you know, once a week, we basically uh, just kind of export a whole bunch of our records uh, into uh, essentially what would be just one giant SQLite database. Um, and you can see here, it's kind of, you know, it's fairly easy to explore. Uh, you know, we've got a number of tables here. Uh, the two big ones are going to be bib and item. So, for example, we can just sort of explore bib really quick and, you know, you can sort of see right away that, you know, it's just presented to you in a big table, uh, you know, and right away you've got these, these features where you can just, you know, you can sort by, or you can facet by um, these column names. So, for instance, if I wanted to look at the publish year 
and facet by that you can get a list of the you know serial the records basically that are in their in their publication years so if you click on one of those now it's basically just going to like filter by that publication year so and then of course you can you know you can add more columns here and that type of thing uh, the other thing I want to discuss really quick too, again, sort of in that uh, that documentation theme, uh, you know, I thought it was really important too. If anyone you know wanted to use this or poke at this, um, you know, how to like, you know, how to do so, you know, sort of explained a little bit more in depth. So uh, you know, and then also along with that, uh, defining all of the uh, the data that exists in here. Um, so you now you can, you know, I sort of basically go and show, uh, you know, the relationship between the tables and the items um, and how to, you know, kind of look at that a little bit closer. These are the, uh, the databases available uh, publicly. So yeah, this is the, the current weeks, this is the previous weeks. And then once a year, I think my plan is to kind of just, you know, kind of do this, uh, the snapshot so, you know, suppose you want to answer the question, what types of item formats are there in the collection? Uh, you know, you could really easily do that with this tool. So you could run a really quick, uh, you know, this is just a really simple query here. Um, you know, we're, we're selecting the item format column, the distinct values for those. And then you can see here, it just kind of gives you one column. Uh, so the great thing too, also that I should point out is uh, this data, you could use this as a data source. Um, so if you wanted to perhaps get this as like a CSV file, uh, you can do so. Uh, JSON format, you can, you can also do that. So what if you wanted to, uh, you know, sort of expand on that a little bit. So if you wanted to, you know, look at the, the counts of items, uh, you could look at this query as well, and this is going to do an aggregate now of uh, those values for uh, each of those item formats. So as you can see here, you know, so you've got 1.9 million books, 1.2 million juvenile books. So these are the, the basically the um, the counts of uh, those items in each of those those formats. So a plugin that uh, I find really kind of neat and useful is called uh, Vega. Uh, so it provides some charting options to you. Uh, so you can see this button right here, uh, show charting options. So if you wanted to chart that last, uh, that last query, you can kind of easily do that here. Um, so I don't know, this is a little hard to read. So you can actually, there's a little option here to kind of swap it. So if you wanted to like swap the X and Y values um, for column and uh, yeah row, basically you could just kind of swap those around. The other really uh, or another great feature of dataset uh, is this concept of uh, named parameters, uh, which basically borrows from a uh, SQL uh feature. Uh, so you can kind of feed it these. Uh, these options here, like, you know, you can say colon subject. And if you wanted to, you know, sort of feed it a subject, you know, here I'm feeding it uh, dystopias. Uh, so this is looking at the, uh, the bib record now. So the bib record shows um, index subjects here, and dystopia is a subject index. So it just kind of shows you all the titles. And the great thing is too, you can, you know, you can kind of give it links to produce links on the fly. You can kind of do that here, um, that type of thing. Uh, and then another sort of option in this sort of same vein is uh, this, like these canned queries. You can kind of create more traditional uh, REST APIs. So you can sort of see here, you can give it the query parameter and then the query parameter value. And it just looks like, you know, just a normal URL that you can construct. So it gives you sort of this little bit more flexibility here. So as you can see here, I've, I've kind of fed it this, uh, this barcode and uh, you can just get, yeah, just a ton of information out of it. 
So clearly there's a lot more, you know, that we could talk about, but uh, unfortunately, <laughs> uh, you know, we don't really have a lot of time here uh, in these, uh, this, this format. But um, yeah, please, if you see uh, anything you like or if you, you know, maybe come up with some cool queries or if you love data set as much as I do, I'd love to, yeah, talk about it. And I think, uh, yeah, Simon is really interested in hearing from, uh, from folks who are using it as well. So, all right. Well, thank you very much.